What's good, y'all? It's Drew here. <clears throat> Back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about One Piece chapter 1015. So, don't forget to like, subscribe for more new content if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification because, you know, YouTube be trying to play with us. But, uh, first thing first, question of the day. Question of the day is, what was your favorite part of the chapter? For me, it, it either is when Sanji pulled up and, you know, Sanji, you know, not Mr. Prince, but when Sanji really pulled up or uh, at the, the very end with uh, Yamoto. But, you know, we start with... Kaido basically, we already know Kaido announced that every, you know, to everyone that's, that Luffy was defeated and basically dead. And everyone's morale was over because, as we know, everyone on the battlefield knows that Luffy the best. So Luffy's the strongest, the strongest guy here literally was taken out. So I think someone says it, maybe Perispero or someone like that. They're like, you know, whenever a general is defeated, all the pawns and all the, you know, the lower people, they just can't compete. Or they, they lost their morale. <laughs> Things are looking very, uh, very, uh, very uh, bleak, and I think even Chopper is sad. And uh, Queen's like, "I'm gonna finish, basically, you. Like, it's over, bro." Queen comes at him, and we know, you know, we got Sanji been smoking the corner. He just chilling, holding Zoro, and he, I think, and Pedro Spedo's gonna end it too, because I, I didn't even really put two and two together, but Pedro Spedo's been like two v oneing Chopper with Queen, and I was like, I knew that that wasn't gonna last because Chopper's not that tough. And I was even talking about how crazy it is for for Chopper to be beat or Chopper to fight Queen, especially for an extended amount of time. I thought that would almost be slanderous to Queen, but yeah. Sanji pulls through. Sanji comes to the rescue, saves Chopper. He's like, "Bro, stop crying, bro. Like, like come on, G. You know, you know this all. It's Luffy, bro. He's li he's like Luffy has literally come back from the impossible countless times, which is like, yeah, like literally to believe in Luffy. Like this has been said multiple times." Obviously, the stakes are higher, the opponent's stronger and stuff, but so is Luffy. So, you just gotta believe him, bro. He's done this mad times. So, so you know, Sanji's like, take care of Zoro. Take care of Zoro. And if he comes back, he's as strong as 10 men. Which I especially love because in uh, the Zo arc, Luffy actually says that. Luffy actually says... Sanji wasn't there, actually. Luffy says, you know, Luffy says he's gonna go to Whole Cake Island. This is when Sanji was gone, remember? Luffy actually says he's gonna go to Whole Cake Island to save Sanji because Sanji's worth 10 men. And Zoro's like, he's worth 10 men, but I'm worth 2,000 men. And I love that Sanji says it about Zoro. So that's a really cool thing. Like, the Sanji Zoro rivalry will always be a great thing in that aspect. But Zoro obviously counters and said, I'm worth 2,000 men. Don't play with me, bro. But yeah, so Sanji versus Queen slash Parasparo. And uh, Mark Weaver was like, yeah, so that's why I like y'all. Like, y'all tough. If Marco giving you the, the stamp of approval, you know you're tough. That's all I know. So, that's going on. Uh, obviously, Kaido, when we go back to what Kaido is, and Kaido is talking to, <laughs> we, maybe, we laughed maybe 30 seconds since last chapter, and uh, Kinemon looking chopless. I mean, let me not say chopless. Kinemon's looking completely defeated. It's over. It's over for bro, bro. Sword is gone. He barely have a hill, and he's just out of it. Kaido's like, bro, like you're wasting time. You might, you might as well accept your defeat like a samurai would. We know how Kaido is with his uh, freaking. We know how Kaido is with you know all the samurai-like qualities, right? He he really he takes this up very seriously. So seeing someone that he thinks is not worthy, he's like, bro, it's just accept your death. I'm gonna make a Kaido video very soon, and I, Kaido's super interesting. So Kaido's like, just die. I didn't even know Kaido had this. He he, he takes like a small knife. Maybe it's small comparatively. It could be a big a sword or something. It might even be someone's sword. But the point is, it looks like a dagger. And he, like, stabs Kinemon. Now, I don't know if Kinemon's dead because we know about the Wano Syndrome almost, where people are, you know, died and they're not dead. But, I mean, I think that was a good time to kill Kinemon, especially with Momo being there. They even had a little flashback where Kinemon and Momo were just trying to get their act together of Kinemon and Momo actually pretending to be father and son. So we had that little flashback. So I'm pretty sure Kinemon's dead. But I don't know if at the same time he could be alive. But the point is, Kinemon held, I'm not gonna say held his own. But he, you know, he fought till his very last breath. He, he fought till his very last breath, if that was his last breath. So shout out Kinemon, that's a real one. Uh, yeah, so that was that. He stabs him, he, obviously we have the little panel where he's, where we assume he can, he's dead, right? But, Shinobu takes Momo and just starts running. And uh, Momo grabs one of the snails first, and Shinobu's a little confused at first. And he's like, bro, I have to do this. I think Momo is understanding his role. Like he's starting, obviously, like Momo gets a lot of slander, but I think Momo understands how important he is in, in like the whole this Wano raid. He's he's very important. 
So he grabs a snail and he he has to convey to all the the little people, right? All the all the the fighters, all the pawns, not pawns, but all the people that are fighting. That Luffy told gave him a message. I, I don't even remember when the special. Was, I don't even remember when Luffy gave him this message. Obviously, it was probably way before the Kaido stuff started, right? Before the Kaido fight. But I think Luffy's message was like, "Bro, I'll be Kaido. Like, I'm not gonna die. I'm not dead." And Momo gives his message without even knowing that Luffy's alive. Like, Momo did not even confirm that Luffy's alive. So Momo was really stepping up, in my opinion. Like, that's some crazy. That's 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 a, a real leader-like thing to do. We've seen Luffy do stuff like that before. We've seen a lot of people do stuff like that before. But seeing Momo take that role is really impressive. Momo's like, bro, you like keep fighting with all your all your will, please. Like until your last breath. Momo's just be, Momo's telling everyone, like, bro, y'all, we have to win this. Like, we cannot afford to lose this. And someone definitely had this theory, or not even a theory. Someone knew someone said that Luffy would be saved by Law's crew because of the submarine and stuff, and it made sense. And that's what happened. Luffy Luffy is saved by submarine. One thing I want to note, though, that's fairly, uh, you know, a, a side thing, is they were like, we. It's almost like we heard his voice even though we were underwater. So all we, we always know about the voice of old things, right? That's something that's come up every now and then. We know Luffy has it to a degree. I think Luffy can hear things that other people can't hear, but we know he can't really. He, his uh, quote unquote voice of old things is not as crazy as Momo's is apparently. But that's a weird thing to note. So that's. Like if, if he didn't have that ability, there's a chance that Luffy probably just dies. But I think Law, Law's like, oh, you know, Luffy's uh done the impossible so many times, like never say never type thing. So Luffy's gonna probably be saved, and we're gonna see him. I'm not gonna say next chapter, but Luffy should be alright. I don't know how he's gonna heal though, but just give him some food. He'll be, he'll be back in action. You see, you see him? You'll be back in action. So, but uh, Law, Law pulls up to where Kid is because as you know. Law was going to where Kid is, which was Big Mom. And, you know, Kid's obviously magic, bro, don't help me. And Law's like, bro, like, you heard it, the journal, right? I'm not saying Luffy dead or, the, like, or anything, but he definitely got defeated. Like, we, we should at least play nice until, like, until we figure stuff out. So, it's Law, it's gonna be Law and Luffy versus Big Mom, which I've said for, well, not even, let me not, not just take all the credit, which a lot of people have said for, like, chapters now. So, looking forward to that, although, I think it's going to be very helpful in quote in portrayals and feats for definitely uh, Big Mom. It's going to definitely going to be important, or it's definitely going to be great portrayal wise and feat wise for Big Mom and Kid, even Law too. So that'll be a good thing to watch. And just before the chapter ends, we have Yamoto pull up, and Yamoto's like Kaido, and Kaido's like, don't you mean dad or father or pops or whatever? And Kaido Yam and Yamoto's like, you know, that ship is sailed basically. Like I'm free myself from that shackle. So the chapter ends and it's it looking like uh, Yamoto versus Kaido, maybe uh, a temporary one, one v one, at least until Luffy can get back on his feet. Uh, because as we can see, everyone else is all the heavy hitters out of it, right? Uh, Zoro's Zoro still in his slink, or is Zoro still in his you know Zoro Zoro's still looking like a mummy right now? Sanji's fighting Queen, which is something I, I mean a lot of people have called, but I'm really excited to see, right? Uh, yeah, everyone else is pretty much uh, up, but you know, everyone else is pretty much taken care of. Uh, and Nami and Us Nami Usopp and Tama, I think they went to, I forgot where they went, but they went to another uh, level of the raid. So they're going to be definitely pieces in this uh, puzzle. But overall, good chapter, man. I thought it got spoiled because someone said something about like some spoilers. And I don't even know if I should say it because it's like, it was a weird spoil spoiler, but yeah. Uh, Next chapter should be really good because Yamoto and Kaido. I, I want to see Yamoto go all out. Like we haven't seen her go. We haven't seen her fight like pretty much at all. We've seen her do clash and stuff, but that's not fighting. Uh, Yamoto could have things that we don't know. I want to see uh, how many hockeys does Yamoto have stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so that'll be good. Hopefully Luffy can pull up in time, obviously. And I want to see Sanji versus uh, versus. I want to see obviously Sanji versus Queen because that is something that. Sanji needs, right? But I don't need to go over why Sanji. Well, that would be good for a Sanji, so. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think down below, though, because I feel like this had a lot of, like, I feel like, what, what I had, I think it had a lot of great straw hat moments, right? Or a great straw hat moment. You had Sanji pulling up, doing what he do. Uh, uh, yeah, it's some, we had some cool callbacks a little bit. We had a scene with Momo. I think Momo was turning up, too, so it was some good things overall. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think down below, but. I'm out, so peace.